What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am doing a really highly requested video. I've been asked so many times on Instagram to do a hair tutorial and although I don't feel like my hair routine is anything that's special, I definitely enjoy watching other people do their hair routine. So I hope you guys do find this helpful. It's super quick, super easy. I don't use a whole lot of products. I like to keep things really simple. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and dive in. I thought I would do a Q&A today um, along with me doing my hair, kind of explaining to you how I do it just to keep things a little bit more interesting. So I asked over on Instagram what questions you guys had for me. I just said ask away, ask anything. So I'm sure there'll be some fitness, some nutrition, some pregnancy related questions. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have any questions, make sure you go ahead and drop them in the comment box below. I'm happy to answer them. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So first off, I'll share with you what um, like flat iron as well as curling rod I use. Um, so first things first, this is a chi straightener. This is very old, nothing special, nothing new. I'd say it's probably like four years old, which is pretty good for a straightener. The second thing that I use is this curling rod. Um, so this is actually a curling iron. As you can see, there is no clip on this curling iron um, and this is relatively new to me this is the same curling wand that my hairstylist uses and recommends so I was looking for a new one I was just finding that mine was just working average and so I really wanted to get into curling my hair versus using a rod and <laughs> it was such a challenge to figure out how to like use the clampy part I'm just so used to just using like a regular wand so I decided to actually take off off the wand portion of it so as you can tell there is little like screw holes right at the base um, so I actually just completely took off the clamp and now I just use this as a rod um, or a wand the difference between like this and just a regular wand is that this is an extra long length um, so the brand that makes this is or the company that makes this is the company called mint um, I got this off Amazon I think it's a one inch it might be a 1.5 inch. Let me look. I purchased a lot of things on Amazon, so I got to scroll pretty far here. Okay, so I got the 1.5 inch. I wasn't really sure which one to get, if I should go with the 1 inch or the 1.5 inch, but I decided to go with the thicker one just because I like my curls to be a little bit looser. Um, so yeah, that's the curling rod that I use, and I really, really like it. I think it was 100 Canadian, about, um, yep, yeah, 99.99 in the, um, I'll link it in the comments below if you want to shop it. Obviously, you also need a brush. I use this, oh, there's hair in it, that's disgusting. This is one of those wet and dry brushes, um, and I use that, I've used this for forever. Um, they're always my go-to brushes just because they protect your hair when they're wet. I also like to use them when they're dry. I find they don't really pull on my hair, so I really do like them. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Unleash the beast. This is my hair after I showered yesterday and slept on it when it was wet so it's pretty wild but usually this is kind of what I'm dealing with when I first go to straighten my hair I do have like a natural wave to my hair and it's not like a nice wave where you can just wash it and wear it it's like a frizzy crazy wave so um, this is typically what my hair looks like when I go to curl it I will let you know that I do have extensions in I um, have had extensions for probably like the last year and I really really do like them so this is not my natural hair I am working on growing out my hair. The reason why I have extensions is because I ruined my hair about a year and a half ago when I decided it was a good idea to go blonde. So if I ever say that I want to go blonde on Instagram, tell me not to because my hair can't handle it. It literally just broke and was so, so damaged, which was so sad. Before we jump in the questions, I guess I'll just explain how I go about this. So first things first, before I actually start curling my hair, I always use my straightener. I have tons of baby hairs like in the front here that are just wild and crazy and do their own thing. So I always like to like tame around my face, just um, straighten out those pieces so that it doesn't have like crazy waves to it. Another thing I like to do is just straighten through my ends. I'll explain a little bit more why I do that when I'm curling my hair. Oh, 
The reason why I run through just the ends and not like the whole piece is just because I find that if I straighten my hair first and then I try to curl it my curls just don't stay i gotta do what i can to keep my curls in so i just do the ends just a little bit before i go ahead and use my curling rod so i'm just gonna also get these baby hairs okay i think i'm going to move my camera a little bit see if i can get I think that's a little bit better. Um, I also really need to dye my hair. As you can see, my ends have really lightened up just from the sun and just because it's been a while since I've dyed my hair. So that is definitely on my to-do to list in the near future. <laughs> so first things first, I always put this little top portion up. I usually just kind of start around like just the tops of my eyebrows and then I go upwards. Now I basically just start on one side. I'll usually start at the front, work my way to the back. On these front pieces here, I always like to curl away from my face. I just find that it looks really natural when your hair just naturally is curled away versus the curls coming towards your face. And that's just a per personal preference of mine. However, you'll notice that when I start curling my hair, I like to put um, some pieces in the back going the other direction just so it's not I find if I curl them all the same way it ends up being like one big massive curl that just gets stuck together so I like to change the direction up just a little bit just to um, allow a little bit like more texture and more of like a beachy look I don't know if you guys can tell but I feel so out of breath from just talking to the camera it's insane I guess this is what seven months of pregnancy looks like but I'm like <laughs> I feel like I need to like rest and all I'm doing is just talking. I haven't even lifted up my arms yet to do my hair. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive in with the questions. All right, it is a hair related question and that is how do you keep your hair fresh after the gym if you don't have time to shower? So um, if you have been following me for a little bit, you know that I don't wash my hair very often. Um, okay, so first off, I'm just grabbing like a really small chunk of hair. I, I grab a decent amount, but not too, too much um, and then I go ahead and I wrap the or I put the wand on the back side of my hair um, and then I curl the piece away I leave this little bottom piece out so I'm um, leaving this little bottom piece out just makes it so it's not super ringlety at the bottom and that's the reason why I um, straighten my hair ahead of time is just because I want I don't want it to be like perfect curls I want it to be more like beachy curls and so that's why I leave that little bottom piece out so now I'll go in and grab another chunk of hair and I'll do the exact same thing for all of these front pieces so to keep my hair from not having to shower post a gym um, I always just use a dry shampoo honestly I don't actually sweat too too much when I'm at the gym um, unless I'm doing like straight cardio or if I'm doing hit or something like that but dry shampoo is my savior I use it every almost every single day I like the texture that dry shampoo gives my hair it helps it obviously like stay clean and feel clean but it also just gives it a little bit more volume so I just like to use dry shampoo pretty well well daily for the most part but I find that that really helps me like in between workouts and also prolonging my wear out of my hair I can usually wear my hair down for probably like two or three days um, with it curled and then I need to like either do like a half updo or put it right up so um, yeah dry shampoo is literally a savior if you need to you can even like keep it in your gym bag so then you can use it right after the gym okay the next question is how often do you wash your hair and do you get it wet between washes? So I wash my hair probably every about five days. Like I said, I'll usually wear it down for like about two or three days and then the last two days is usually just in a ponytail or some sort of bun or a hat. Um, I find that like five days is kind of my max for as long as I can like push my hair and that's just what works best for me. I don't wash or I don't um, wet my hair in between washes. I just actually wear a shower cap. I find that it's so much easier to just put a shower cap on in the shower then you don't have to worry about like the water like splashing onto your hair um, because my hair is really frizzy as it is so anytime water touches my hair it just makes for way more work for me so a shower cap works best for me but I don't wet my hair between washes 
So I've done quite a few pieces um, away from my face. So this next piece, I'm going to go towards my face. So I, rather than putting the, the rod behind, I'm going to put the rod in front and then curl in the direction towards me. I like having this extra long um, rod just because it allows me to like get a bigger chunk of hair. When I had my old wand, I had to like grab really small pieces of hair just because I was finding that it was like taking up the whole wand and then it would just take a really long time to do my hair. So having this extra long wand and like just investing in like a good decent quality wand has helped like speed up the process so much. How long is your real hair and how long have you had your extension? So my real hair, let's find it in this mess. So my real hair goes to about here. Um, so this is my natural piece. There's a, there, that piece of extension isn't. Um, so my natural hair is just a little bit lighter than my extensions right now. So this is a natural piece here. However, my extensions really help it with like fullness. Obviously my natural hair isn't um, as thick at the bottom as it is when I have extensions in, which is one of the reasons that I do have extensions in, not just for length, but also so that I, I just have like more body and more volume in my hair. Um, like I mentioned, I've had my extensions for probably about a year and a half over a year for sure, probably about a year and a half. I started off with them a little bit shorter. Um, I started off with only one row of extensions. Now I have three rows of extensions and yeah, I have really enjoyed them. They haven't damaged my hair at all. So I would highly recommend getting your hair or looking into extensions called Microweft, which is what I have if you want extensions but you don't want to damage your hair. And I've talked to like quite a few ladies who also have done this same approach too with their extensions and they notice that it's not damaging either. So microweft has definitely worked really well for me so now this first half is pretty well done and then now i'm going to go ahead since this half is done i'm going to put in some hairspray this is not special hairspray by any means this is just from the drugstore i've been using this one for quite a while and i really like it it has a good hold but it doesn't leave my hair feeling super super sticky i also don't have to use a whole whole bunch of it i do actually put quite a bit of hairspray in just because i my curls do fall out so easily, but I like this one and I've been using it for a while now. So I'll just go ahead and shake it up, spray it under on top as well. And then again, I'm just going to leave um, these curls. I'm not going to brush through them or touch them. And then I'm going to go ahead and do this half now. So for this next half of my hair, I like to put the curled portion in the back and now I'm going to start at the back and then anytime I curl a piece, I'm going to move it backwards. So again, I'm going to do these curls in the back different directions. I'll do some forward, some away. And then as I get closer to the front of my face, I'm going to curl all of them away from my hair. So next question. Do you use dry shampoo? If so, what kind? So my favorite kind of dry shampoo right now, um, I'm currently really loving the Lululemon dry shampoo. If you guys saw my last Lululemon haul, I reviewed their um, self-care products and I'm actually really happy with the um, dry shampoo. I like it because it doesn't leave any um, like white on your hair. If you know, if you have darker hair, you'll know what I mean. Um, sometimes it kind of leaves like a white residue and a lot of dry shampoos do that for me so I really do like the Lululemon one um, I've been using that one for the last few weeks but other than that I just use Batiste I find that Batiste works the best um, and it's also a really reasonable price I do try to find the brunette one just because again it doesn't leave the white residue but if I can't find that one I'll just buy any of the Batiste Batiste and I find that they work really really well if you don't know what Batiste is I'll just leave a picture of it right here next question is are you married no, I am not married. I have been with my boyfriend, Chris, for five years now. We definitely do plan to get married in the future, but we're not in any rush. We're just kind of going with the flow. We just bought our house this last year in January, and then obviously, um, so a year ago, and then the babies do this January. So lots of exciting things happening. So we're definitely not rushing marriage by any means, um, but it'll for sure be in the cards in the future. I'm just going to speed this up and curl a few pieces, and then I'll go ahead and answer some more questions.
Okay, next question is how is it going with the Lululemon products? So like I said, if you guys haven't watched that video, I'll go ahead and link it right above me here. I'll also put it in the comments below. I'm really enjoying the Lululemon products. I have been using them for a couple weeks now. The uh, dry shampoo, the deodorant, um, the aloe one specifically is my favorite. I've been using the lip chap all the time. I do really like the facial moisturizer. However, I am finding that the smell is a little bit funky, which is something I didn't really notice in that first impression video. Um, I just find that like it's fragrance free, and so just the smell of it is a little bit off. It's nothing to the point where like I wouldn't use it because I really, really do like how it feels on my face. Um, so overall, I'm super happy with the product, and I would definitely repurchase um, the facial moisturizer. I'd also repurchase the lip balm. Um, the deodorant and not so much the lotion. I wasn't a huge huge fan of the lotion like I mentioned in the video I, I feel like you can find pr some pretty decent lotions Anywhere, so um, I wouldn't say that like you need to buy that lotion specifically from lululemon just because it is definitely more on the expensive side But I also really do like the dry shampoo as well um, I'm not a hundred percent sure if I'll repurchase the dry shampoo. I think it's going to like I'm going to need to give it a little bit more time um, on just testing it out. If I find that Batiste works better than the dry shampoo from Lululemon, then I'll probably just stick with Batiste. Um, however, I am really enjoying a uh, majority of the products from Lulu, and I can say I'm definitely impressed with it because I had no idea what to expect. Um, but overall, yeah, I'm pretty happy. So these pieces around the front of my face, I usually grab a really small section and then I just don't hold it on the wand as long unless they turn into complete ringlets. Um, even this is like pretty ringlety, but once I brush it out, it'll be okay. So now that this half of my hair is done, I'm gonna go ahead and put some hairspray on it. And then again, I'm gonna leave it and not touch it. And my battery is flashing at me, so I am going to need to change that just a second. Okay, we are back in action. I am going to take down this top piece now, and then I'm going to also go ahead and tie back my the bottom pieces just so I can see what I have already done and make sure I don't mix up the two. So, so I'll just use my scrunchie, and then I'm going to go ahead and part my hair where I usually do. I don't really have a specific place I part my hair, I just kind of do wherever. Um, so I'm just going to start with this side here since there's only a little bit to do. All right, next question is, is Buff Bunny Collection doing, my camera is crooked I think. Is Buff Bunny Collection doing a Black Friday sale? They sure are. They are going to have pieces on their website up to 80% off. I can't even believe it, 80%, it's literally insane. So I'm super excited. They haven't told us exactly what's going to be on sale yet, but if they do, I'll definitely keep you guys posted. Um, so make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll go ahead and link my Instagram account if you're not following me. Um, and then you can stay up to speed on all of the uh, Black Friday sale stuff. All right, next question is a pregnancy question. It's how do you get over the first trimester anxiety of something going wrong? So I experienced this big time. Um, I think especially if you know someone who's close to you who like has had a miscarriage, obviously it makes it a lot more real for you. And I really did experience this. I was extremely worried in my first trimester that something was going to go wrong. And I don't really know if like, I have any like real techniques to kind of help you overcome that anxiety that you may be feeling other than um, I want you to know that you're not alone and I definitely felt the same way. I was really, really nervous in the beginning and pretty much after I was through my first trimester, I um, felt a lot better. As soon as you're in your second trimester, you'll probably feel a really big weight lifted off your shoulders, especially as like you go through your appointments and you get the confirmation that baby is healthy and things are going well. Um, um, but I definitely want you to know that you are so not alone in feeling that way. Next question is, are you scared or nervous for labor? Absolutely. I feel like I get nervous for things that I've never experienced in my life before, which is probably pretty common. I'm sure you feel the same way too. Um, and obviously I've never been through childbirth. I, um, 
only know from listening to other people's stories kind of maybe what I can anticipate, but it's just a little bit nerve wracking to me not knowing like how everything's going to go. Um, obviously it's completely out of your control and there's really like nothing that you can really do to prepare yourself for it. Um, other than like maybe do a little bit of research and just kind of look up like what the general process is, but yeah, I'm definitely nervous, but I'm just trying to not think about it too, too much and not worry about it too much because I, it could definitely really start to stress me out and I don't want it to do so. So um, I'm definitely nervous and I think that I'm more excited than nervous. So I also know that there's such a big light at the end of the tunnel, like so I'm trying not to worry or stress about it just too much in general. For these last pieces around the front of my face, I like to just put the rod on it really quickly and not leave it on very long or they they turn into really tight ringlets and especially around the front of my face I don't like to have really tight ringlets I like it to be really loose so now that this is done I'm gonna go ahead and spray her down now I'm gonna take out this back piece as well and then before I go ahead and run my fingers through my hair I'm just gonna give it one good spray down the last thing I'll do is I will run my fingers through my hair just briefly and just quickly. I don't like to run a brush through my hair just because I find that that makes my curls fall out. So I'll just run my fingers through it really quickly and then this is the final product. I am going to go ahead and just straighten a few more pieces around my face. As you can see, these baby hairs here are just like wild. So I like to just tame them. Ouch! I just touched my straightener. And that is how my hair goes. This is just what I typically do. I don't really change up too, too much when it comes to styling my hair. I like to keep things pretty simple. So these products here are volumizing powders. These are just two different brands that I use. And I wouldn't say that one's necessarily better than the other. One is Big Sexy Hair. The other one is the, I can't pronounce this brand, but it's the same one as the Hairspray. Um, and I like these because it just adds a little bit more texture like right at your root. Um, dry shampoo kind of gives you the same feel, but this definitely does a better job. So I, yeah, I use either one of these. I don't know why I have two of them. I probably thought I lost one and then bought another. Um, so it's just basically like a white powder that you sprinkle onto your hair. So I'll just kind of put it right at my root and then flip over my hair, do it again. There we go and then just rub it in. I don't like to use, I don't like to backcomb my hair. I find it's really, really hard on my hair. So, so using some of this powder looks works so much better for me. I don't use this every time I curl my hair, just on the days I feel like I need a little bit more volume. Um, but I definitely wanted to show you this product because it's one that I've used for forever and it's one that I really do like. Um, but yeah, that is my hair tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the q and I know I didn't get to too many questions because I was busy chatting about my hair a lot, but obviously Obviously that was the purpose of this video so um, if you did enjoy this video make sure you give this video a thumbs up it really just helps support me and my channel and I really do appreciate it um, if you have any questions don't hesitate to comment those questions below and I'll be sure to get back to you um, and of course always hit the subscribe button if you have not already so you can be part of my YouTube fam I will catch you guys in the next video I hope you have an amazing rest of your day take care bye Thank you.